Understanding Ephemeral Bond, Exploring Transient Connections in Language. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, ephemeral bond. This phrase combines deep emotional concepts with beautiful language, and we're going to explore it together. Let's unlock the meaning and usage of ephemeral bond in English. Ephemeral refers to something that is short-lived or temporary. It comes from the Greek word ephemeris, which means lasting a day. It's often used to describe things that are transient, like a beautiful sunset or a fleeting moment of happiness. Bond, on the other hand, signifies a connection or a relationship between people, objects, or ideas. It implies a sense of attachment or unity, when combined, ephemeral bond describes a connection or relationship that is temporary or fleeting. It's a powerful expression that can evoke feelings of nostalgia, beauty, and the transitory nature of life. The phrase, ephemeral bond, is used in various contexts, often to describe relationships or experiences that are profound yet short-lived. Here are a few examples. 1. Literature and poetry, used to describe a brief but intense relationship between characters or a fleeting moment of connection. 2. Philosophical discussions, often used to ponder the transient nature of human connections and experiences. 3. Everyday conversation, might refer to a brief friendship or a short-term collaboration. It's important to understand the context in which the phrase is used as it can greatly influence its meaning. The phrase carries a mixture of emotions. While it highlights the temporary nature of certain connections, it also celebrates the beauty and intensity of those moments. It can be used to express sadness over the short lifespan of a relationship, or joy and appreciation for having experienced it, however briefly. I hope this exploration of ephemeral bond has been enlightening. This phrase is a beautiful example of how language can capture complex emotions and ideas in just two words. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the world of experiences and feelings they evoke. Keep exploring and see you in our next video.